Hey guys, it's me and I one and I'm talking about GameStop. Now, GameStop used to be like the place to go for games. One of the things that they had that other people didn't was the Power Awards program. Now, what was that? I was a veteran of the program basically because I've been in that program since since when like EB Games was around. That's how long I've been in that program. And it was so good. 10% off used games. That was a big deal because you could go into GameStop, get the buy two, get one free special, and still get 10% off all the used games that you're buying and it actually made a big difference. You used to pay $15 a year and that basically was made up once you bought a certain amount of games. But GameStop lately has been not as good. So they're trying to bring more customers in by improving, let's go with that, their Power Up Rewards program. Now how are they improving it? Well, they took away the 10% off used games in their store. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. That doesn't sound like improve it, does it? Right, but instead of it, they have added $5 a month of basically GameStop money. Now, that would be good if you could actually just hold those $5 a month each month and then at the end of the year, you'd be able to afford one game with just GameStop money. That'd be a good deal, right? But I was watching Spawnway's video and apparently they're not doing that. After each month, your $5 expires. So what does that mean? You have to use your $5 before or it expires, so you can only really use $5 a month. So even though it's technically $60 a year, you can only use $5 at a time. You cannot add it up. So to me, that doesn't make any sense. You're gonna take away the biggest thing that your reward program has to offer, in my opinion, which is 10% off used games, and you're gonna replace it with $5 a month that you have to use before the month's end. So unless you're going in for a $5 game every month, this deal doesn't make sense to me because what are you gonna get every month that's $5? I guess if they have like a Nintendo Switch or an Xbox point card, I don't know if they sell them at $5, but that's what I'd probably get every month because you can add that up. Like imagine if you went in and you got a $5 Xbox Live card every single month, then you could add that up on your Xbox Live until you have $60 at the end of the year and that wouldn't be too bad. But if they don't, then really, unless you want a $5 game every month, it just doesn't make sense to me because $5 isn't much at all, especially nowadays. So I don't understand what GameStop was thinking with this. Yes, they say it's in beta, so maybe they're just testing the waters, seeing if it's going to be successful. But if you're going to do this, at least let people build it up so that they could actually, maybe after four months, get $20 come for a game they actually really, really want. Anyway, what do you guys think about this new policy? Do you guys think this will be actually popular? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.